Hey, I'm Albo, and I love JDM cars and culture. In each episode in this multi-channel crossover series, I'll go on car adventures around Japan with Captain Bradford from JDM Masters, along with our car club and fellow YouTubers Japonic, Samet, Dustin Williams, and others. Join us as we do car stuff, explore Japanese culture, and show you what it's really like in the land of the rising sun. This is our JDM life, and we are the Super JDM Bros. この番組はご覧のスポンサーの提供でお送りしました。Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. If you just came right from the previous video, thank you for clicking into this one. We're going to be continuing right where we left off, which is at HMR, where we are going to pick up my S2000, which has just had the new soft top installed. And we're going to install the new RSG seat from Don Quixote, which has kind of become our de facto、uh, little parking garage where we work on stuff. Then I'm going to take it for a short drive, and I'll give you my thoughts and opinions about whether it's worth it or not to pick up a full racing bucket seat for your car, for your S2000, whatever you drive. So, as usual, this video is sponsored by thehunters.com. My personal merch store where you can pick up merch like this super awesome, really, really comfortable, very warm fleece pullover. It's really great quality, and I really love this Hunter's embroidered logo over here. And I just I just wear this pretty much every day since I've been working from home these days. So, anyways, we got other products as well, like the very, very popular hoodies. So, make sure to check it out down below, and I will see you guys after the video. Oh, man. Okay, so we've been driving for like an hour and a half. No, I think two hours. And this traffic's insane, but it's making the wait more and more and more worth it because finally I'm gonna get my car back. Hopefully, the new soft top looks sick. What do you think? It is the perfect weather to test a soft top. Yeah, exactly. It's raining. Exactly, exactly. Finally, have a glass soft top <sighs> that's not ripped up with holes. Right? I mean, the, actually, the old one wasn't bad. It only had like one, literally one hole. But it was the, the plastic soft top and it just felt cheap. And it would deteriorate. It、yeah. already started to deteriorate. You can't even see through it. Well, anyway, you've been driving this car for a couple of days and we did a test video.、Right. What do you think of the Tonio and Accord e u r o r s c l e 1? I love the shifting. Look, it's, it's so easy to shift. The response is okay. It still has that Honda character, but it's been diluted、yeah. in a way. It's a bit of a compromise. I mean, like. I don't see any reason why I would end up buying one, which I, I think you might get lucky and get one for like four grand or something.、Uh, yeah, it's, it's worth it, I guess, as a daily, but not for me. So we're just about here, finally. Finally, finally. There it is. There it is. There it is. Dope. Bruh. Oh, it looks what, great. Alright, here it is. Here's the car. The new top. Yeah, that looks sick. Perfect. Finally. Oh, oh it's nice. It's nice. Let's cut it some of this. Alright, so the soft top is on the car. It looks great. Cannot be more thrilled. It's cool to see it beside this yellow S62 over here. You can really see the family resemblance. This is like the younger, literally like the younger brother of my car. Oh man, it looks like a really looks like a completely different car. Yep, that was totally worth it. All right, let's head back. Can't wait to drive this thing again. I'm super excited. Pumped. I don't care. When I see this, I don't care how old it is, okay? I want this. Why? It's nostalgia for me because I used to drive one of these.、Mm -hmm. It's still a great shape. Yeah, but it's a shitbox, right? It is. Literally. Look, it it's is, like it's, it a, is a shitbox. Yeah. It's in a bad shape. I mean, it, it can be fixed. But at the end of the day, it's gonna make me happy. I, I, I know this because I had one. Yeah. I like it. It's not like I didn't know it, you know? Anyway, super happy with this. Alright, l so we are here for some traditional、curry. Japanese Indian curry. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. It because does. it's very different from. Very, very different. From、oh. real, real, quote unquote, real Indian food.、Uh, <clears throat> But this non the non in Japan is so good. It just fills you up. It's so kind of it's kind of sweet. It, it is, it is it chewy. Kind of sweet, yes. And、it's、even、like、the, if you choose a normal curry, it's spicy because it's sick. It's sweet. Yes.、Uh, here we go. Salad. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Try this out. It's very, very hot apparently. Okay. All right. 
I've chosen the little spicy one, but I'm gonna um, mm. set all my stomach first with some vegetables to just, you know. Ah, dude, this is so good. Get prepared. Especially in a hot, cold day. Mm. No, we were debating whether we should eat ramen. Something nice and warm. So we, we need another, uh, what's, curry, cars and curry. There we go. Oh, easy, curry. cars and curry, cars and curry. So try, try the curry, let me know what you think. Okay, hang on. Oh, that looks so good. It's like sweet, but kind of like soft and chewy, but spicy. Okay, I always like to experiment different Indian restaurants. Oh, I ate some of the paper. I ate some of the paper. Yeah, I ate some of the paper. Oh no. It's too delicious, I ate the paper. This is good. I chose mutton. Yeah. And mm, it's a thick consistency. And it's a little spicy, not too spicy, just the way yeah. I like it. The garlic sort of reacts very well with a thick curry okay. gravy. I'm wondering if I can get through this. Because my powers have weakened eating spicy food mm. in all this time in Japan. Yeah, it's quite spicy. Mm. Or not that spicy, but that's more spicy. It is spicy, right? Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So we are here at Don Quixote parking lot again the usual garage spot. And we're gonna be installing the uh, new uh, Recaro seat. Uh, I brought both cars, so the car seat is in the Forcer. And we are just going to install it uh, right now. And check it out. We just got the S2000 back today. And it has a new soft top with the glass, glass uh, screen, or glass window. And yeah, that's that sick. Proof that it's a genuine ASM item. Uh huh. Uh huh. Car box. Yep. Oh, look at that. Sick. Yeah. Let's get to me. Sick. All right, let's do it. Let's do this. Yeah, the material's really nice. It's an aftermarket soft top, but it's uh, made by this uh, brand that uh, all the Japanese folks use. So, and I know it's good. I'm gonna do a time lapse, and you'll see it'll be done in like a few minutes. Okay, before we install it, I figure I should show you guys. The seat that I got is the Recaro RSG ASM uh, Ruby 2020 model, and it's pretty sick. There we go. Yeah, brand new. This is dope. And that's gonna look freaking sick inside there. Yeah, there's so many edges. Okay, there we go. God, that looks dope. I'm gonna hop inside to see. See if uh, if it if it fits, I sits. Right. Don't shake the seat too much. Just yep. check your position. Yeah, I like this. You can still put your elbow on. Elbow on the uh, door sill. That's actually one of the things I was most worried about. Like I would lose, I would be like this. <laughs> but it's actually fine. Oh, this feels good. It feels I'm more like in it, in the car, if that makes sense. So smooth, the way you're just like, <laughs> like a ninja. <laughs> if I tilt it backwards. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is okay. But you, you actually have to try it and then... Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let, let's say that at like the most, the highest, the highest position. basic setting. Yeah, and then like I'll, I'll try it for a bit. Yeah, I think for everyday driving this is good. Yeah. It's not too low. Okay, so it's in there now. So I'll tighten up. Let's sit inside it. Yeah, nice and solid. In and out. Nice. 
I'm bad, actually. <laughs> ah, this, this, this could be your, turn this into your Grand Turismo game. Exactly. Track. That's right. That's right. When I was just at home, just in my living room, I thought it might be like a little bit tight, but this is actually, this is great. How does it feel different? The main thing actually, psychologically, it feels much more like a race car. Just because like your whole body is actually being like cocooned. Just sitting down, not even touching anything, you're like, I'm in a race car. So you feel like a turtle in its shell now? Yeah, like a ninja turtle. Yeah, I feel like a ninja turtle. You realize now you've got three different types of specialist Honda tuner parts in your car. Mugen, Spoon, and ASM. This is the uh, S2000 Holy Trinity. Yeah. Some people say, oh, you're missing Jay's racing, but we're not in Osaka. Yeah. <laughs> Can't that go special. <laughs> Here, I think it's like a little hard. Yeah, like that. Gotta get both legs up first, right? Yeah, right. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's sliding back in. That's, not even, that's pretty good, actually. You want to make it really easy on yourself, you just slide it back. Yeah, immediately what you feel is. This bolster, right, bolster right, right at your the side of your body prevents it from moving. This is stiff now, and you surprisingly have enough thigh support here. Yeah, yeah even though it's not the full height. Yeah, yeah. I think you're at the same height as your stocksy almost. Um, the only way to make it better is to like have a have different steering, but itself, it's, it's okay. Yeah. I think it's fine. Okay, so you, you do the uh, ballerina style <laughs> like that. Ass out, head out, ass out, head out, ass out, then push your legs out. Yeah, here you see it's too tight. Ah. So like. So if you go back a little bit. A little, a little bit. bit. That's okay. Yeah. There you go. Get back in. Oh, that's much smoother. Right. Yeah. And then back, back out. But leg, leg, head, leg, head, leg, head. Ouch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Just the angle. <laughs> it's just the angle. It's just the angle. Which means you need to do more sit-ups. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, stay. Whoa, so fast. <laughs> okay, that was great. Okay, you're you're the pro. That's a video in and of itself. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, perfect. Very nice. Oh, that is so cool. Look at that. That is sick. Perfect. There we go. Nice. That is sick. Okay, that was satisfying. This was a good buy. Yeah, good tea is important. All right, guys, it's all done. And we are ready to go for a drive. Yeah, the soft top really, really ties it together. And the new seat looks freaking amazing inside and it feels great. So we just have one more new thing that we're gonna add tomorrow. And uh, just as a hint, it's gonna go on the outside. So, yeah. Looks amazing now. Let's go for a drive, new seats, and uh, let's see how it feels. Right. Ooh, this is exciting. Yes. Test your new part. Immediate first impressions. Just pulling out of the parking lot feels a little bit different. You're not kind of sliding around, you're not bracing yourself with your feet. Even in the car park, yeah. It kind of feels like uh, you're being held like this, and then your feet can just move kind of independently. through your bottom yeah you can feel what the car ass. is doing so I thought I was gonna feel really tight but you feel a little bit more confident while you are while you're driving just like the sensations are just a little bit more direct everything is more the feedback of just everything you can, you can probably feel the car it's because you're kind of braced in place before I would kind of like I know there would be like some micro movements where like my, my butt would kind of shift yeah like even in this stock seat, right? Well, there is nothing to brace yourself against at all. Yeah. And whatever 
bracing that's available from the side bolsters of the stock seat. Yeah. You're actually sliding on the surface right. of the leather. Actually, yeah, exactly. So in the stock seat, just whenever I move my legs, I would kind of slide a little bit. But now and your body's just held completely it, yes. still. And I didn't notice it actually. Right. Until just just driving with the bucket seat. Because now there's none of that excess movement. Mm. It's just completely like you're in place. That is oh, now, yeah. now there's no filter for the feeling of the car. But it's it's still comfortable. Actually, it's still comfortable. It's actually it's actually very comfortable. And I feel like I could I could sit in this position all day. The lumbar support yeah. feels. I don't know because maybe the old seat was old, but like it was comfortable at the beginning. But I feel like I would get tired. Mm. That's usually how stock seats feel. And this like the the curvature of, of the seat feels very natural. The Rio Caro Hallmark. That's their technology that no matter what seat they make right it gives that same ah, I read about that, that yes. can correct as well. whereas for the stock seats it tries to accommodate a wide range of, of customers that just don't put that extra effort into that so like this feels like a, it's a very natural natural you can slouch down a little bit too if you like but like when you when you kind of sit up it feels natural it just feels natural mm. getting in and out is 30% harder but it's not a deal breaker, actually. It's it's uh it's surprisingly easy. All right, so here's a little little test toge. Yeah, I like when when you turn. You kind of like you can feel the the bolstering right here uh, on the side. That's kind of like a feeling that I didn't I didn't have before. It it pretty dramatically changes the driving experience. It makes it feel like a lot more more just like sporty. What's interesting is it changes that that feeling no matter what speed you're going. Maybe if this was your only car, you would get like a little bit tired of it, especially getting in and out. Like if you need to go to the store and stuff. But I think. Um, because I don't need to take this car to commute and uh, every time I drive it is basically just for leisure. I think that that added sportiness really increases my like satisfaction and happiness uh, with the car. Navigating these these corners, it almost feels like the the corner makes more. There's like more information. You get like more more feedback with like the position of the car. That kind of translates to being like a little bit more more confident that you can push that corner at like a, a little bit higher speed than if you had like less information and you'd be kind of guessing. Very well described. I couldn't have described it better. That's exactly how a good bucket seat. Well, the seat that holds you in and gives you more information is to help yeah. you sense the car more sensitively. Sens sensitively. You, you get more information and um, that enables you to make split-second decisions like a little bit more more confidently. Dude, yeah, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Well, money oh, well yeah. spent. video here uh, it's been a long day finally picked up the s2000 with the new hard top or new soft top installed the recover seat and yesterday we just installed the new headlight yeah dude thanks for all your help it's been awesome and uh, tomorrow one more upgrade to the s2000 it's gonna be sick and uh, yeah check it out and thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next video peace
Hey guys, welcome back and thank you for watching the whole video. Drop a comment down below if you watched the entire thing. Let me know what's some bananas. You guys know how it is. So the next video, we're gonna solve another new part on the S2000, which is something on the outside. So if you guys wanna follow my private Instagram to see my daily adventures and stories there as well, make sure to send a request and I will accept you after I just confirm that you're a normal person and not popos or anything. And lastly, I just wanna give a huge thank you to my patrons who have really been supporting this channel an incredible amount through, throughout this whole year and it's really giving me more and more confidence to go full-time next year uh, in collaboration with you guys picking up merch with with the patrons and uh, also with with youtube who is uh, really enabling creators like me to do what we love and create content that you guys love as well so i will see you guys in the next video and quick update i'm actually really excited for the next video which i'm planning to release this one is a big one guys and this one has to do with one of our connections to the legendary midnight racing team so make sure to subscribe turn on those notifications and keep watching and if you haven't seen the start of this playlist yet check out the first episode of super gd and bros i'm sure you're gonna love it and aside from that i'll see you guys in the next video stay safe and take care and happy holidays peace